Hello, my name is Bhavya Reddy with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to configure system platform to alarm through an external SAL gateway or a standalone SAL gateway. Now reading the title of this video, you would have a lot of questions. When did this change happen and how do I implement it and why should I implement it? So let me provide a little bit of background information on this before we get started so that I can answer most of these questions. With System Platform 6.0.3, native SNMP v2 alarming support has been added, which enables System Platform to raise alarms through any SAL gateway without the need to run an embedded SAL gateway or a vSAL gateway. Multiple SNMP trap destinations are supported, allowing alarms to be simultaneously sent to one or more SAL gateways, system manager or a customer NMS. In the previous releases, system platform relied on the built-in customer NMS alarming support in the SAL gateway to deliver alarms to a customer NMS. Now with system platform 6.0.3, it can send alarms directly to the customer NMS. Why is it needed? Customers may prefer an external or a standalone SAL gateway if they have large network with many Avaya devices. The standalone SAL gateway makes it possible for the customer to consolidate all the alarms from many Avaya devices and send it to Avaya from one SAL gateway. For system platform to alarm through an external SAL gateway, also known as the standalone SAL gateway, it first needs to add the external SAL gateway as an SNMP trap receiver. To do that, log into System Platform Web Console and navigate to Server Management, SNMP trap receiver configuration. Here you will enter the IP address of the standalone SAL gateway or that of a customer NMS. You will also enter the port and community information and click on Add SNMP Trap Receiver. You will see that the external SAL gateway was added as an SNMP Trap Receiver. Now the last step is to disable the vSAL gateway or the embedded SAL gateway in system platform so that it does not send duplicate heartbeat messages to Avaya. To do that, navigate to SAL Gateway Management under Server Management and click on Disable SAL Gateway. Confirm that you want to disable the SAL Gateway. It then shows you the confirmation that the SAL Gateway has been disabled successfully. Now keep in mind that the system platform DOM0 and CDOM needs to be added as managed elements in the external SAL gateway, also known as the standalone SAL gateway, to complete the configuration. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.